this um this um nice and quick. And this is about like the situation that disaster and these are black captains dealing with. Um do I feel like and it's just how I feel, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, we all know each of the black captains had an NDA, you know what I'm saying, like you know what I'm saying? we all know we had NDA paperwork against disaster. Okay. So that's been out there like that, you know what I'm saying? You even have like certain people putting it, you know what I'm saying, like on their, you know what I'm saying, like on like on YouTube. Like they're putting the paperwork on there. They're putting the paperwork on there. So it is as it is as clear as day that easy the block captain definitely did the stuff, you know what I'm saying, with the paperwork. Okay. And this is coming from an easy the block captain fan. I like easy the block captain. But that's what he did and that's what he chose, like and that's what he had cho chosen to do. And we don't agree with it, of course. But like I said, I still stick to like what I was saying about the last book. But this main, you know, but see, like the the main reason like why I'm actually like vlogging about this is because disaster to me was wrong. You know, what I'm saying like about a couple of things. You know, it has been times where disaster did like you know what I'm saying like use like the N word and things like that. It has been times. You know what I'm saying? Like where he actually like done that. Now, me, I'm all for it. I don't know disaster like that, of course. I don't know none of these people at all. Let me like make that clear. I don't know, like I don't know none of these people. But, you know, when you actually like grew up, you know what I'm saying? Like around like blacks and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? You was actually like in like a black neighborhood and things like that. That Like that's how you grew up and things like that. You go through as far as like what us black men go through. I agree with that. But then like when you come to a point where you're talking about that people like a three letterman, like that is like a it's like it's like a guess of like hip hop. No, that's not true. As many times we push the fact that Eminem is a guess in hip hop. Disaster, you were guessing hip hop too. Battle rap is hip hop. You know what I mean? So you are a guess in this, for sure. You are most definitely, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying, like a guest in hip hop. So I feel like for you to tell, like, you know what I'm saying, to tell a, another black blogger, like, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. I just feel like certain things like that is like out of pocket. It's just out of pocket. And I understand that disaster is, you know what I'm saying, probably like upset. And when I like look at like disaster, disaster has like a strong ass fan base. His fan base is going to ride with him until the wheels fall off. He has a certain fan base that ride with him. So what I'm mainly saying is, when Disaster end up going against certain battle rappers like this, he does have a hard time with these battle rappers. Every battle rapper has like a hard time with a certain battler where that certain battler gives that other battler their weakness. You know, I, I looked at Gichigati versus Disaster. Gichigati beat Disaster. And then when you like look at Easy to Block Captain, 95%, you know what I'm saying, of like the polls have Easy to Block Captain winning. And I haven't seen the battle yet. But I really, really feel like, like, and I don't care what nobody say, I really, really feel like it irritates disaster more because a lot of people have him losing. But then you let your anger get the best of you because you start saying these things that you shouldn't be saying. And see, like, me personally, this is why I come to the point where I don't like trust people. I don't like when people like do stuff for me. I don't like when people like do like favors and things for me like that. I, like I like to take care of everything myself. But even like when I used to go out and do what I do, regardless if I was out there doing what I wasn't even supposed to be doing, I still didn't trust people that was my skin. I didn't trust people that was the other skin either. And that goes to the, you know what I'm saying? Like that goes to the, you know what I'm saying? To, you know what I'm saying? To like to the other race too. I just, you know, when I come to work, I do what I gotta do. And that's it. You know, I don't come here to be nobody's friend. I don't come here to trust people. I don't come here to do all that. Because when you give people the trust and when you give people your kindness, people end up taking kindness for weakness. And when it comes to us black people, this we don't want to hear you say anything like that. You know, we could do something like that though. We could, like you know what I'm saying, like we could we could come up in this culture and 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 say like oh yeah we was the first black man to do this we was the first black man to do that but then like when you come up in here and then you say you know i'm um i'm i forgot what he said he's like i'm a rap and 
I get more respect in this culture than you, you know what I'm saying, than you. You know what I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm A-Rap, and, you know, like, I'm like the, uh, you know what I'm saying, like, I, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm like for, like, the culture, you know what I'm saying, like, I run the culture and I'm A-Rap. It's just like for you to tell another blogger certain things like that, it's just like out of pocket. And I just hope y'all understand, like, where I'm going with this, because you let, like, a white person get too comfortable up in, like, the black culture, he end up saying certain things that's questionable, then you end up feeling some way about it. That goes for Hispanics, that goes for whites, that goes for, you know, I don't care if it's like Samoans or Asians. It goes, for, like, it goes for all of them. Y'all come to the point where, you know what I'm saying, where people got love for y'all in the culture, you guys come to the point where you guys feel like you guys could say certain things. And it just don't work that way. It just don't work that way, though, disaster. And how I feel about the NDA paperwork, bro, is it's just like... <laughs> I just honestly feel like if somebody, you know what I'm saying, my personal opinion is, my back is killing me. My personal opinion is, if Easy the Black Captain is giving you paperwork for the NBA or whatever, why even accept it? Because it's like, I guarantee you, if this would have won, he wouldn't have been as upset right now and like i said i don't like to just judge off of like what other people are saying i like to go like look at battles myself there's a lot of battles out there where people felt like a certain opponent won and i feel like the other person won and i'm like nah this person lost you know what i'm saying i don't know what y'all talking about this person lost so it's like you know when you go and you like do like certain things like that it's like you shouldn't even agree to that but then at the same time, I know that you're just trying to, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to make the car like look a certain way. You're trying to make the car like even like look good. You're trying to make it look good. You're trying to make you do the black captain and disaster look good. But certain things ain't gonna look good when you in battle rap and then people is giving you an NDA for them and, and like in the certain things that you can't say. It just don't work that way. Like, I'm just not, I'm like, I'm just not dealing with that. But I'm like, nah. Disaster is a bigger battle rapper than easy to block captain. So it's like, nah, bro. But then I feel like you came to a situation where, you know, you probably felt like, you know what I'm saying, this is probably what you needed to do. But I honestly but I honestly felt like you didn't know this because I felt like you are a very, very good battle rapper. I feel like you didn't have to do that, bro. You didn't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's just what you wanted to do. You didn't have to do this stuff with the NBA form. You didn't have to agree to that and then you didn't even have to battle easy to block captain. But I know you want like certain things to like look a certain way. So it is what it is. You know what I mean? And as far as the stuff with the ARP, you know what I'm saying? That is what it is. Like, I mean, it's like, you know, if you feel this way, then that's just how you feel. Nobody can change how you feel about certain things like that. But the main reason to like why I'm even like making like this blog is for you to say that, you know what I'm saying? He's like a guest of like, he's like a guest in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? like. You know what I'm saying? We all know who started that, bro. We all know who started that. Okay? We had the NWAs. We had the Tupac. We had all these people. And to be honest with you, when I first got into battle rap, the first people who I actually knew was, it was, it, like, it was Murder Mook. And it was, and, and like, and time to time, I used to hear stuff about Reed Dollars. And I heard, and I heard stuff about Siri Jones. And to be honest with you, the first person that I actually saw, and he actually, like, wasn't even, like, black like that, and he was popular, was Gene. But I saw all these cats before Jim. As a matter of fact, I seen Jim before Sirius Jones, and then I started being a Sirius Jones fan. So, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I, I just feel like certain things like that, though, this man, that's not, that's not cool, bro. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm saying, we got love for you, you know what I'm saying? Like in the culture. But I just feel like stuff like that, though, out of pocket. That wouldn't even call for. That wouldn't call for. But it's y'all boy, Battle Rap 292. Make sure y'all subscribe. Alright?